So in this video, we are going to work with MongoDB. So let me just go to mongodb.com and uh, I'll just sign in. If you have signed in that time only, you can use whatever the account which you have signed in. I'm going to create new account. So I'll just create it. It will ask for accept policy and all. I'll just accept it by clicking submit. Now it's going to give us this particular interface and it's going to say create database and let me just build a database it's absolutely free when you are just getting started so we can use it for free so let me close it and create one free cluster creating cluster is very easy just to select whichever the location is near to you and uh, i'll click on mumbai then in this particular place uh, create cluster we can keep everything default and i'll just click create cluster it's going to take a while to create it but you can set one username also so i'll just set it as my user name and password use whatever the password you want to use i'll just use one two three four five six it's a secure password create user it's, it's saying password is too weak so i'll just add a b c d so it accepted the password and uh, everything keep default here and uh, that's all for this particular thing you can click on database here it's still creating when it's creating let me just close this out yeah so when it's creating this particular thing it might take one two minutes that time we can just go to here database access and we can just make sure my username and whatever the permission it has is given if it is not given just click on add new user and create it and just keep everything default and it should give you access i created it when the database was creating so I can use same thing and then you have to go to network access and here we can just click on add IP address and we can allow access from anywhere because we are just testing right so that's fine if we get to give access from everywhere. So if I just go here it's just going to say that a database is still being created until then we can just go to our project and install some things which is required for working with the mongodb database so same way we have to install npm i and we can install something called as mongoose it's a package which is going to allow us to communicate with the mongodb easily so i just installed it let's just make sure it's installed here and i can see it's installed now usually this is how i create the database by creating one file named config and we i name it as db.js and here i'm going to import that particular file that is const mongoose is equal to require require mongoose and once it's required we can just create one function here I'm going to create one asynchronous function saying const connect db is equal to async and I'll just create it. So whenever we have this async function, we need to put it in try catch. So if any kind of error comes, we can just get it. So let me just type this uh, error saying error while connecting and uh, let me just append it with the error dot message so that uh, we'll get error message if any error is available so here we need to type one particular uh, line in order to connect it to the database and uh, connecting it is very easy just type await uh, mongoose uh, dot uh, connect and here we are going to paste something but before pasting let me just create one variable named db underscore uri and we need to have that particular db.uri so here also i need to create it db.uri is equal to something 
that something is there right it's going to come from uh, this particular mongodb atlas it's now created uh, the database so i uh, we can just uh, click on connect here if i just click connect here it's going to ask something i'll just click uh, connect to your application so let me just copy this particular thing and go to here and he paste it here so username is whatever the username which you have created and password is uh, whatever the password you have put i think i have created i put one two three four five six a b c d and if i just save it it's going to yeah so here we need to type one database name so let me just type it as uh, my node js db so let me just save it uh, and uh, i think that's all we let's put one message saying uh, log saying uh, database connected let me just save it and in order to run this particular function we need to export it uh, by typing module dot exports is equal to connect db so let me just go to this particular file and import that particular thing connect db function is equal to require config dot dot slash config slash db and if i just save it and type here connect db it's going to run that particular function here if everything goes fine then uh, it will run the database and it will get message saying uh, database connected yeah so if database connected is written here uh, that means uh, we are ready to uh, connect use uh, the mongodb let me just type one wrong password here so that uh, see if i type wrong password it's going to show error while connecting uh, bad auth authentication failed meaning your username and password is not mentioned properly or some kind of error is there uh, when you are configuring uh, this particular uh, mongodb so let me just go here and uh, type the name properly so that uh, we can use it so that's it for this video guys uh, and uh, in next video we are going to work with models and uh, we are going to get started with the superhero database creation so don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and uh, see you in the next video.